today is my doctor's appointment. Is it sad that I put makeup on so that I'll be treated more kindly? <laughs> is it sad? Sometimes that's how it goes, though. You never know. I don't want to go. <laughs> All right. I'm out. My brother just messaged me, butthead. <laughs> Brothers. On my way here, there was a guy uh, selling water bottles at the red light junction. And it was sweet. Like, a bunch of people were like, here, I'll buy a water bottle. They weren't yelling or anything, but they were commenting to him. And I was like, aww. That's great. I kind of wish I had a dollar bill so I could participate. I freaking, the light turns green and I'm still watching as I drive. And then the light turned red again, but it was too late. Like, I freaking ran the red light because I was not paying attention. I like ran, ran a red light. Like, I would red before I even crossed the white line. And now I was like, oh, no turning back. I'm at the hospital now. I have like half an hour to eat and then I gotta go in. Mm. Tokyo Cafe, North Las Vegas.
my view. I forgot to do a follow-up on like how the appointment went. It was pretty good. Um, the person I had talked on the phone to um, about like my medical information and whatnot before the appointment, she's the one who kind of checked me in and like did my vitals and stuff. And like we just, we hit it off pretty well. Um, she told me a lot about um, things to do here and like in a more introverted way, which is great because I'm very introverted. Um, I got my medicines. Uh, they wanted labs again, so I'm like, I'm struggling with that because of that torture dude. The dude who, like, I swear he was a sadist. He really enjoyed seeing me suffer. Like, and I swear he jabbed that needle further in before he pulled it out. Like, freaking blood went out. Oh, I don't like even thinking about it. I don't even like thinking about needles. Like, I was supposed to go today to get the labs done, but I chickened out. I don't know if I'm going to do it. Um, yeah, it's, I know it's like, it's no big deal. Just go and do it and get it over with. But like, it's a big deal for me. And I am traumatized and it's not something I can just up and do. Like, there's a mental block. I can't do it. I got, um, I got my Minions cookies from Crumble, and then I drove home. Like, okay, so Crumble is like eight minutes from my house, and freaking... Uh, the GPS froze. And I didn't realize, and it just, it, the instructions were to just keep going straight. And I kept going straight, and I was, like, stuck in my head, in my own little world. And I didn't realize until, like, I was, like, literally at the base of the mountains. And I was like, wait, wait, wait a minute, where, where am I? And so I had to turn around, and I fixed, I thought I fixed the GPS, but then it took me halfway uh, back from where I came from, like, in terms of hospital, so I was, like, closer to Nellis than I was to Centennial Hills, and then, um, so I had to, like, turn off the GPS completely and reboot it, and 15 minutes out, I was laughing my ass off at myself because I felt like I was going nuts, like, Usually I'm I have it together, so that was like a what the hell is going on kind of moment. I really lost it. <laughs> okay, it's Saturday. We're gonna get up and we're gonna try another Russian deli. I don't know if I have confidence to get a cake again. At least not now. After the paint cake fiasco fiasco or whatever it was inside that cake. Ha <laughs> ha!